Hi, and welcome to our newest series, Ask Martin County. I'm Bob Hoganson. Almost any question that a resident has can be answered with a little searching of our website, martin.fl.us, or a simple phone call to our switchboard at 772-288-5400, where you'll get directed to the department that can answer your question best. Many people take advantage of these resources, but some questions occur more frequently than others. And in this series, we'll try to get you the answers to some of the most common questions we as a county get from you, the residents. Today we visit with Martin County Fire Rescue and answer one of the most frequent questions they receive. Why does a fire truck go with an ambulance to a medical call? In 2016 alone, the Fire Rescue Department responded to more than 24,000 calls for service. Most of those calls are not fire related, rather medical in nature. But every call that goes out must be responded to by a full crew. I spoke with Fire Rescue Chief Bill Schobel at a recent training to get his take on one of the most common questions he receives. That's the number one question we, we receive is why does a fire engine go to a, a medical call with an ambulance? Uh, one of our ambulance or rescue trucks generally carry two people and a fire engine uh, usually has uh, three people. So why are we sending five people to a medical call? A lot of our medical calls are very uh, involved. You know, we literally have to bring an emergency room to your residence or place of business. And that is a, that's a big deal. Uh, it, it takes uh, staff to carry equipment in, to safely carry patients out, to perform CPR. And if they're up on the second or third floor, they don't always have elevators that, that accommodate the stretchers, the size of the stretchers, so they have to be carried down steps. We don't operate in, in the TV world where you have plenty of light and room to work in. We work in dark, cramped areas where a lot of times it takes many hands. Consider how many people you would get if you went to an emergency room and you were a critical patient, whether it be a diabetic or a heart attack or a stroke or, or what have you, you get many people in there tending to the patient. And Chief Schobel says that once the patient is secure in the ambulance and on the way to the hospital, the fire truck immediately becomes available to respond to the next call. If you have a question about county services or just want to stay up to date on county happenings, you can go to our website at martin.fl.us or you can follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. And be sure to keep your eye out for the next Ask Martin County. I'm Bob Hoganson. Thanks for watching. Thank you.